bit of morning to you, laddies. What is up? Michael, peace here. Oh, oh, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, 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 What's up everyone, I've got a new story for you guys today and uh, cue the dramatic music But today is a sad day, okay about two weeks ago was a sad day You know, something tragic happened and uh, I'm gonna make some money from it So a couple of weeks ago one of my friends was having his 16th birthday party Honestly nothing crazy, just a few friends chilling, having a bit of alcohol not at all the highlight of the story, it was just, you know, a 16th birthday party, nothing, nothing crazy. But there was one girl who, you know, we're, we're all good friends with, but uh, this, this one person in particular is um, a bit of a fucking wild one. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, she, she's a bit of a nutcase. Other than that though, the party was pretty chill, everyone else was having a good time, you know, I, I'd lost my, I'd lost my bloody bearings because I won't lie, I was... I was pretty drunk, busy playing on my friend's phone or, you know, rolling around on the grass in his back garden. I couldn't tell up from down. But I was fine, uh, there was nothing wrong with me, I'm, I'm safe. I mean, even if I do drink a fair amount, I'm gonna make sure I'm safe, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I don't condone underage drinking by the way, don't do it, don't follow my footsteps, okay? These stories are meant for you to listen to what I have to say, go from it knowing that I'm a bit of a fuck up. Don't follow my footsteps. Be a good, responsible human being. Anyway, after the party had been going on for a while, the star, the man turning 16, had proposed that we would wander up to the rope swing and, you know, have a bit of fun, as you usually would. Now, not everyone was quite as drunk as I was. Everyone was like, I'd say a little bit tipsy, you know, nothing too much, but we went up to this rope swing, and if you don't know what a rope swing is, it's basically a really sturdy, thick piece of rope that's tied around a tree that you can like hold onto and swing. Except this one, it had like a log uh, tied at the bottom so you could like jump and then sit on the log. And uh, when you were airborne, there was like a nine feet drop. So that's why there was a log on there. So you could sit down and really give a good old swing. So the first incident was uh, one of my mates, huge guy by the way, he just fell off the rope swing plummeted into the floor face first and we were we were like shitting ourselves. it was like you could easily just snap your neck by doing that but he just he literally just got up and laughed it off and we had no idea how the shit he managed it and then it came the turn for the wild one to have a swing on it so initially she just jumped on and flew out and uh, when she came back the the guy who was turning 16 pulled her like back up um, on the hill and let go so she'd have a bit of an extra swing which is like not bad at all by the way it's we would we'd do it to each other just so we would have a bit more fun right but the thing is when he let go she wasn't sat on the seat properly and when she swung right out well no she, when she started to swing out she fell and like tried to grip onto the seat and at the peak when she was at the highest because she lacked the upper body strength she had to she just let go and fell really really awkwardly on her back everyone just ran down to her when she was on the floor and i just kind of staggered along after everyone to see if she was all right the whole lot of us were just freaking out over what to do like how serious it was and uh me and my mate Joe walked back to the house so we could get some water for her and to be honest I have no idea why I was like elected to go and get water because I was just kind of slowly staggering behind my friend desperately trying not to fall in a hedge or out onto the road anyway so we managed to bring it back and to be honest not a lot had changed she was repeating the same questions over and over again and she was shouting, DO NOT TOUCH ME, followed by more crying. So it was just, it was so out of hand and we were just panicking. After that, we were finally able to get her to calm down and walk with us to go and get some food from Domino's that had just opened down the street from the house. Like it literally opened the other week. A group of us actually walked in there and were given a free extra pizza and some Coke 
because we were the first people in that. Well, I wasn't, but like the rest of my friends were. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, I know you don't want to hear me ramble about how we went to the fast food place to get pizza. So I'm just going to cut the bullshit and get back to what's really interesting. So on our way back from Domino's, she had really started to panic. Like it was, it was bad. And again, just repeating questions, asking where she was, uh, like crying. She she would just sit down, and like break down crying. Like it it was really really bad. Now I don't know if you guys know the number one one one, but it's like the non emergency number. Like it's like the ambulance, but it's a non emergency thing. So I turn to my friend Charlotte and I'm like, look, call one 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 right now just just call it okay and so she dialed it into her phone um and we were kind of like going through all, all of the questions and she couldn't answer them so we had to like answer them and i remembered her birthday and stuff and i i was just really happy that i had my wits about me even when i was pretty pissed i'm not gonna lie but you know i was i was proud of myself but we went through the whole it was like signing one of those questionnaires right but we, we had to go through with it and within about 10 or 15 minutes someone drove down and was taking care of her and like asking her questions and stuff and he and this guy's name was phil and phil was like this this is bad okay i'm going to have to call an ambulance call someone that you know to come down here so we called her brother and um he came down and he, he was like oh ha like how are you and stuff and the first thing that she said the girl that was really hurt was what the fuck are those shoes <laughs> so he had just he'd come down to like look after her and she's already dissing him the second he comes down so anyway, they called the ambulance, and it came down, her mum came down, and there was like, you know, they, they were saying, oh, she doesn't have a mild concussion, she has a medium concussion, so it was really bad. And keep in mind, all of this happened on my friend's birthday, and last time he had a birthday, his friend got concussion, like, really bad uh, at school. I think, yeah, it was at school, it was at school. And he had to have an ambulance helicopter come down and pick him up. So his birthday is cursed, right? But anyway, they, they came down um, and her mum came down and Phil was like, he cracked a joke, right? He said, oh, this isn't a good place for a middle-aged man to be ripping off a teenage girl's tr trousers, right? Because they would have to do that to... Um, look at the injury and stuff and we kind of all laughed because it, it you know it was just a bit of a joke and her mum was like boys i don't think that's funny i mean like oh shit we shouldn't have laughed at that but it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad she was panicking everyone was panicking so it you know and it's her daughter so of course she's going to be pretty mad but anyway as she was getting taken into the ambulance um she was saying oh my god like where am i what's going on and repeating the same questions, but the pers the paramedic said this, right? This is so fucked up, but she said, I think you should get inside because you're causing a bit of a scene. Like, what the fuck? She's got, she's got a concussion. Of course she's gonna be like this. She doesn't know what's going on. Answer the bloody questions. <laughs> and, ah, oh, I just thought that, that was so bad. Just as we were walking off, so none of us could actually say anything, she was like, oh, you're causing a fuss, so get inside. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Anyway, she's okay now, thank God. Like, we were so worried about her, and we... Not the day after, but I think the day after that, we, like, bought her a card and her favourite drink and stuff, and we went to go see her and stuff, and she's all good now. I mean, there's a huge, huge bruise on her leg, but, you know, she's okay now, but what's really scary about all this is when she fell, she was like a like 10 centimetres, about 3 or 4 inches away from landing on this huge sort of log. It was like, it was massive. I'd say it was about, it's like 10 feet long and a foot across. So it was a massive log. If she had landed on that, she would have broken her spine and she would never be able to walk again. Because it was like a good nine feet drop. So she she would be in a wheelchair. 
So in a way, she got off lucky with a broken rib and two other bruised ones. And like a bruised leg and stuff. I mean, that's pretty bad. But she almost became immobilized. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in for today's story. I hope you enjoyed. This was a bit of a longer one than than usual. And um, tell me, guys... Um, Tell me if you guys enjoyed slightly longer stories or if you prefer like six minute ones opposed to like 10 minutes one, 10 minute ones. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave it a like. If you didn't like the video, make sure you leave it a dislike. And also, if you leave the if you leave a dislike, make sure that you drop some constructive criticism in the comment section below and I will take it to consideration because I always want to improve my videos and yeah, you know, I want to appeal to as many people as I possibly can. So, again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video, which I'm not sure what it will be, but I am definitely going to be working on that mockumentary soon, the douchebag workout one. So, I hope you enjoy that and my other videos between now and then. See you guys. Peace.